is our largest uh, motorhome in the fleet. It is a six berth vehicle, which means that you can uh, sit and sleep six uh, persons in this vehicle. Now let's take a short walk around. And uh, first we're gonna have a look at this lid here. This is where you enter the diesel. All our motorhomes run on diesel. Okay, we just looked at the diesel compartment which powers the engine. And uh, by uh, powering the engine, you're of course charging both batteries in the vehicle. You're charging the main battery to drive and start the vehicle. And you're also charging the battery in the back of the vehicle, which you use to uh, charge your things in the back and cook and the light. All our motorhomes have a toilet inside. To empty the toilet, you would open up the compartment. And this is actually one of the compartments you do not need to lock at night. You simply push this level up, take the cassette out, and now it's a portable thing that you can go and empty both on campsites. Some of the gas stations have it, but just make sure you never pour, uh, pour it into some kind of drainage. You should put it into a toilet or you should put it into a, a specific place marked for dumping. Now this is pretty easy to use. All you have to do is open this lid up and empty out of it. When you have finished, you just put it back inside like this. To uh, prepare it for usage, you would put in the chemical inside of the vehicle, down the toilet, and add approximately one liter of water. The grey water tank is underneath the vehicle and you have this handle here to release it. Now the grey water is that kind of water that if you take a shower or if you are toothbrushing or washing up your dishes, that's what we call grey water. But if you use the toilet, we call it black water. So this grey water system is pretty simple. All the water that you use inside the vehicle goes into the grey water tank. And when you go to the gas stations or you go to a dumping site, you could just pull this lever out and the water would drop out of uh, the tank. Now the only thing you need to take care of is if you do this at a gas station that you clean after yourself because there's going to be rice and food rest and stuff uh, laying there. They don't appreciate it, so use the dumping sites, please. Thank you. All of our motorhomes have storage compartments accessible from both out and inside. Let me just show you inside of this one here. And inside of the storage compartment, you will find the 220 voltage cable to connect uh, the vehicle while at the campsite, for example. You will also find gear to replace a broken or a flat tire and a spare tire inside of the vehicle. Next up, I'm gonna explain to you how to connect the motorhome to the 220 voltage at the campsite. The cable is in the compartment that I just showed you. And here you can open up this lid, connect the cord to this guy over here and connect it at the campsite. And you will have uh, a full battery charging in the back and all the sockets inside of the vehicle will be running on 220 voltage. You can connect everything to the connectors there. Uh, also, you can operate the fridge on 220 voltage. The only thing you would leave on gas would be the heating system. When you use the heating system, a little bit of smoke will be coming out of this exhaust right here. And uh, we have also experienced that if the camper is standing uh, strangely in the wind, or if the wind comes to this, uh, this place over here, it can actually happen that uh, the heating system turns off and goes to alert because the exhaust is not flowing properly. So the only thing you would need to do then is to turn the vehicle in the other direction and it will function perfectly. Okay, in order to fill up the water tank, you would need to remove the cap. I would never use the key to lock it because when you are driving, it can fill up with sand and it's gonna be difficult for you to, to open or close it. Now, if you t when you take the lid off, it is important to push it in. You just push a little bit and then you turn and it comes right off. The same if you put it back on, you push and you turn.
Okay, here we have the engine compartment of the Fiat Ducato. What is important for our uh, customers to know that they should only touch uh, everything that is yellow. Never touch any lids that are red. Here you fill up the brake fluid. Down here you will fill up the oil. Okay, so now let's go inside and take a look. What I like about Camper Iceland is it comes with everything. So you don't need to bring anything. We have uh, bed linen, we have pillows and just about everything you need to sleep. We have the same in, uh, in the kitchen. You have uh, plates and cutlery and uh, tableware. Everything comes with the camping kit, including the nine kilo gas bottle I showed you earlier. I'm going to explain the sixth berth model from the inside now. In the sixth berth model we have an upper bed which you can access uh, through a ladder. It also has a security net to ensure that nobody falls out of it during the night. We have two tables inside of the vehicle that you can lower down and change into a bed as well. If we move further into the front we have compartments on both sides here and also a bigger closet down here. We have a big fridge inside of the six berth model and a three gas stove. When you have activated the water pump on the control panel, both the boiler, the toilet and the kitchen will be fully operable. Just make sure that you turn on the water boiler 15 till 20 minutes before you use it. All of our motorhomes are equipped with a toilet, sink and a shower. In this particular model, the sink is a sliding model that you have to slide to the left into the shower in order to be able to use the toilet. And then you slide it back over the toilet when you want to use the shower compartment. If you need to store things in your motorhome, make sure that you store heavy stuff down below and use the light things in the upper compartments. Camper Iceland has a large storage compartment in its facility, which means you can unpack your gear, take out your luggage and bring it to our office. We will make sure that it's safe until you come back to the station to pick it up. Thank you for watching our video and we look forward to see you at Camper Iceland.